Hi, this is Kokilavani, Assistant Professor in the Department of Costume Design and Fashion at Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. And my topic is finishing. So this is from textile finishing syllabus. So introduction of finishing. Uh, finishing is one of the essential process of a processing mill where all bleached, dyed and printed material are subjected before they are put on the market. The aim of textile finishing is to render textile goods fit for their end uses. The objective of textile finishing is to improve the appearance of the fabric that is making it more attractive and luxurious by operations. To improve the feel of the fabric by softening and stiffening. To improve the wearing qualities of a fabric by making it strength resistance, grease resistance and free from pills and soiling. To increase the weight of the fabric to cover fault in the original fabric. To impact special properties to the fabric for specific end uses. To shape the texture of satin fabric and make other dimensionally stable. To produce stronger and more durable fabric and novelty effect. To increase service ability and wash falseness. There are two types of textile finishing. Chemical and mechanical finishing. A chemical finishing is an water is used as a medium for applying the chemicals. Heat is used to drive off the water and to make attractive the chemicals. For example, resin treatment, softener treatment, and powdered coating, soil and stain resistance, fire and flame retarding, and special purpose. And then chemical finishing. It is a considered a dry operation even though moisture and chemical are often needed to successfully process the fabric. For example, calendaring, and pitching and rising, sand rising and heat setting. The chemical finishing involving the application of physical principles such as friction, temperature, pressure and tension and many other. The chemical finishing process are beating, shearing, calendaring, and tendering, embossing, glazing, and napping, chemical whitening of silk, and sizing and wrinkle-free finish. So first one is beating. A beating process is applied to linen or cotton fabric. The fabric is beaten with the large wooden blocks in order to produce a hot and flat surface with shear. Only table linen is put through a beating and not the dress linen. When applied to cotton fabric, beating gives a feel and appearance of a linen. This process permanently flatten the yarn of the fabric on which is applied. So the next one is shearing. A shearing refers to the process of trimming the pile on the fabric to desired height. This process gives an attractive and smooth surface to the fabric. The pattern can also be made by shearing through high and low surface level. It is done by machine having rotating cylinder with the spiral blades. Its action resembles that of a lawnmower.